as you can see right here, I announced yesterday, early in the morning, that Dane's Leaf is staying offline. There's an issue with the hosting, and either I could bother finding a workaround to fix it, but honestly, I've, I haven't been working on the bot for a while. I stopped playing Genshin for almost almost two years now, um, so there's no point to keep the bot alive, in a sense. Um, so yeah, that's why I also decided to publicize the... yeah source code for Dane's Leaf. However, most of you are not developers, in particular bot developers, and don't know how to probably set it up. The source code is fully complete and functional. I've tested it multiple times yesterday, but we'll go through how to set up the bot. So, I've uh, listed all the requirements you need to operate a bot, but there's still some stuff I need to explain. So, let's open up the GitHub repository. Well, actually, you don't really need to open up, but you can here look through the source code if you want to. Not really required. You don't need to know how to code to yeah, operate this thing. Um, what we need is Git. So we're going to visit the site. Uh, most of you are probably on Windows, so you just click on Windows, get the installer. Um, whatever bit your device has, I'm on 64. Um, the next thing we need is Node.js. Um, I linked the particular version. All you do is scroll down pretty much and get the installer right here. Um, you can get the, I would get the 64 bit installer again. Um, yeah, but whatever your device is, right? And then the last thing is uh, you need a Discord bot profile. We're going to create a new one for this video. Um, yeah, which we can just do. Let's call it testing right here. Agree to the terms and service, uh, terms of services. Then we go to the bot here, reset token. Yes, do it. Um, you probably won't have a authentication system, a two-factor authentication system active on your Discord account. I highly recommend it because uh, people always lose their Discord accounts due to not having one. But uh, yeah, wait, without a space. Okay, so there we go. This is a one-time code. And this is a random bot profile, which I will delete once, uh, yeah, I don't need it anymore. And what you need to do is after you've created the, uh, got the bot token, um, to invite the bot to your personal discord server, you, what you need to do is go to OAuth2, hit bot, hit, uh, yeah, whatever permissions you want the invite link to have. I'll just go with administrator, copy that one, and then we can easily invite it to our discord server right uh but so now we can select the server we have for defense that's the server i'm in right now um i'll have to give another authentication code um should be this those are one-time codes so you can't you sh don't even try to log into my account so bot is invited now great so Bot profile exists now. We can also give the bot profile a uh, neat little uh, profile picture here. I can give you this one here really quick. So that when we check the members page, um, which didn't refresh yet. Uh, could refresh it, but I guess it's not going to refresh. Huh. Well. Anyway, the bot joined the server, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. So what is the next step? So we have installed Git and Node.js. So what we now need to do is go to some directory on our device. It doesn't matter where. I go. Uh, I have it under Documents Test a folder there, and you go to the path and you type TMD. That will open up the console. Now we can run Git commands, which will be Git clone. And we need to copy the repository, right? Or clone the repository onto our device. This is the link you need for that. And you type git clone and paste the link, right? That's going to copy the entire GitHub project. So next thing is uh, having an IDE or a simple um, editing program for coding, right? Uh, Visual Studio Code is for free. I use WebStorm, that's a JavaScript specific ID from uh, JetBrains, they have different IDs, but yeah, I use WebStorm. 
you can use anything it doesn't really matter um and most of the commands you can execute in the cmd as well you don't really need to uh do it in webstorm but webstorm has some uh yeah well dependencies that make it much more easier to execute stuff like that for example the npm command we have to run right now either you type in the console which you have not this one here you actually have to go back to your uh, explorer open this folder up and then hit cmd again or you can type npm i npm setup run right or npm install and that will uh, install all the packages uh, that are listed in uh, packet.json. We need the discord.js um, package and all the dependencies that are listed here. Otherwise, the bot will not work, right? You can also see this in the readme again. Um, let me show you the visualized one. npm run setup. That's the command you want to execute, right? Or you can, as you can see right here, there's a little pop-up in WebStorm, for example which would execute the same command it, essentially going to do the same shit we can do it right here npm run setup yeah as you can see right here it's see in here you can type it in the console as well i wrote it twice whoops run setup and that's pretty much it you can execute it it's uh, both a console so it doesn't really matter where you do this stuff um you can close this for the sake of it and we can just run it in here right it's gonna take a while download everything and then everything should be done now there should be a new folder called node modules library root etc right that folder didn't exist uh a, while, a second ago that's where the packages and everything is included now the next thing you need to do is uh within the ide um there's a file called config.json um and we'll copy the uh, bot token we have right here and we're gonna paste it where it says enter your discord bot token here that's what you're gonna do simply just paste it here and now you can run this batch file start the batch it's gonna connect to the discord bot um So, uh, right, whoops, I forgot something, npm i, install all the packages, my bad. Okay, there we go, now if we execute the bot again, it should be able to connect without any issues. There we go, forgot it really quick, whatever. Um, and now the bot is fully functional, and you can operate it. How do we know that? If we go to our Discord server, there's a new bot here called testing, which I just invited. It doesn't show the uh, thing, uh, the um, profile picture for now. I don't know why, but yeah, now if you, let's say, want to generate a, ah, there we go, there's the profile picture. Wolf's gravestone, it's gonna generate the image. If it finds the name, obviously it didn't find it in this particular case, because I didn't write it properly. And now it's going to generate an image, or let's say we're going to make an Ascension card. Gaming is, I think, the most recent four-star character. Um, yeah, it's going to generate an image for him as well. Like the yeah Ascension sheets you've been seeing, or you want to browse the sheets that are on the bot, right? Uh, Gaming. There we go here main dps sheet it's gonna redirect you to the github repository image um yeah it has all the dane sleeve commands as you can see right here pretty much anything that was on there was there so now there's also um the commands which i've removed or they're not fully functional right now because i need to rewrite them a little bit um but that will be added to the github repository um later on um yeah which reminds me, if there's any new changes um, on the bot project and you want to make sure you're always up to date, what you got to do is uh, run this git command, git pull, and it will check whether there are changes. If there's no changes, already up to date. If there are changes, it will download all changes. So therefore, your bot files are up to date.
Yeah, and that's pretty much how you set up the Danish leaf, but 